is rain. It's all dried up here down in the down the Mississippi. Sometimes you got we've left here at hunted in fifteen to twenty feet of water. Right out here. Go by boat. Can't get the rigs even close. Water way out. So it floods the whole thing. Some years, you got the backwater. River rising. Way too deep for ducks to feed. But you just put strings about 15 foot strings on your decoys the weight down. It's 15 feet deep. Duck season. In some years, unless you pump up water up there, down in these woods, all dry. It's dry all the way around us. Cypress breaks, potholes, dry, 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 dry. So some years you got too much water, way too much and some years you don't have any water this one I think you get a certain age where you got to take a day off every once in a while and get some sleep everybody gets too grumpy everybody's happy this morning they get listed we make the best of it yesterday we took the day off. The ones that are there, get a little easier on them. So day before yesterday, three ducks. That's how many we had. Proud to get them. So sometimes you get zero. Sometimes you get two, three. You roll with the, roll with the flow. Get a break. This is called Ride the Hole. Right there. Hey, he is. I didn't know they were still this small. That's the one I'm after right there. Man. That didn't make me hungry, my stomach's crowded. Gee. <laughs> oh, they chasing all these big, unedible bugs. They eat them all. I noticed yesterday they they got one out of the cooler that had been aging for 25 days. They weigh 220 pounds. They just force it down the hatch. I mean, I'm proud of them. They're eating what they kill, but I'm like, it'd be way easier to shoot one of them bite me over.
lucky shot of about for the lane. Who knows? Probably ground flooded them. Snuck up on them. He's pretty slick if he can slip up on four or five foot tail sitting out there in the woods. So we went to six. We're going to fool around here and have a duck shoot today. Ride the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for? That's what we're looking for. Yeah, there you go. Three yeah. out of three, Jase. Three out of three. Bump, bump, bump. But the so last bad. one, I, I had to look for for 15 minutes. Hard to kill ducks where there are no ducks, boys. See, see how dry this one is? Uh -huh. That's, that was the problem. He was on dry land, a little man. I knew he was dead. I just kept going round and round. He's in the thickest place out here. Going round and round. Finally, I just looked down. And just, there was a fork in a tree, and he was right in between. He was wedged on dry land. Good. Never. I said, are you kidding me? Because there was too many feathers all over the limbs. I was like, I know this sucker's dead. There's a lot. The last shot was probably about 65. So what kind of report you we now we eat. All we do now is eat biscuits. But when I got to the edge of the woods to go check that field, I saw them five field go back down in there. So I said, well, on the way back, I'll see if I can't get close to them. You mean the only thing up there was five teal? Five teal and three gadwalls. <laughs> no. You slipped up there. So I slipped up there. Well, when them three woodies come by, you know, the last three what did y'all saw? Them mm -hmm. teal started peeping. Well, I guess they gave away their location. So I had to get on my knees and knee crawl for about 40 yards, right in the edge of the lane down there. Mm -hmm. And I heard one peeping. I was just sitting there and looking at because I was out of brush then. I was like, well, I don't know where they are. And them suckers just come out. They saw me the by the time I saw them. They were about 15 yards. I jumped up, I just went boom. Oh, oh. <laughs> Did a little dance. And it looked for me. It didn't work now. Brass, one on both sides with the kind of the bone there. Cut them up to the, this this size here. See what's there? Right there. Right there. That's perfect. They're dressed, picked, skinned, and then they get they get in the, we'll be soaked it in buttermilk a night or two, two or three, three pounds. Buttermilk and you the one you, you slice that you know, deep prime 
that's soaked in buttermilk at least one night. Wouldn't hurt anything for another night. So a night or two. We're gonna run a little seed in on them. We like the black and blackened Saskatchewan rub. Blackened Saskatchewan up in Canada. They are good for something. <laughs> make it make it something you spit on a duck. See, you go with them Canadians. Uh, this is the sacred ingredient. Right here. This is your batter. Some of our seasoning. Cajun style seasoning. Getting like that. <laughs> See if I can find some more. Can you want some more of your, what? your sour cream? You got any more? Oh, I don't know. Alright, let me go look in the country kitchen. That might be enough. I think it'll be enough. I'm going to get down out to the bottom of it. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, that's going to be enough. Yeah, I think it will. That's perfect right there. So you got this. And then you, and you got a little seasoning on it. What else? Is that it? Well, I had the flour and, and get them yep. and get them dry. We ready, to, ready to roll. Add the flour to it. Uh, this is a great way to eat duck. Mm -hmm. The more they'll separate from one another. Mm -hmm. You can roll them in that. It takes about five minutes to get it ready. Five to ten minutes. So it's sort of not hard to do. Someone said, you know, y'all doing any good? I said, but you don't have to eat. Yes, sir. It take us three days to get over the time. Wood duck is the number one duck this year. Normally we just have a few mixed in, but they lead the tank now. And they're not big on migration, but most of these raised in here. All them oak trees over there, got, a lot of them got holes in them. That's where they nest. A hole in a big old Pin oak, be about like that. And then baby, then mama wood ducks, they just flying along and whoop, they hit that hole without ever even losing a feather. Pretty amazing. They may be halfway down that oak tree. They got a little hook on their bill, and wood ducks do, a little hook. And they hook, and they, when they, when they hatch, in a few days, they'll come out of there and look around, you know, and that mama will call them. They'll just flutter to the ground, can't fly, flutter to the ground. She'll carry the whole pack, 10 or 12, get them to the closest bayou. They get in the bayou, 
it's a fight. That 12 or 13 gets down to about three or four and that many make it. So they have a rough life, a wood duck. They're raised in holes in the trees, hollow, hollow trees. That's how they nest. Pretty, pretty cool to watch. Them old chicken snakes that get up there and go up that tree, go in that hole and eat them. And get you, get you wood ducks. So when I see a big old chicken snake in the woods, oh, I kill him on the spot. Cause he eats so many wood ducks. 